Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, well, in previous video, uh, we have created the cluster with ACR and the applications uh, uh, and the, uh, the file for the application or the images for the application, we already uh, uploaded in the ACR in the previous, the previous video. And, uh, and then our ACR cluster was uh, pulling the images from our ACR registry, our private registry, that is ACR. And in today's video, we are going to attach ACR to the already or existing uh, cluster so that uh, the, the Kubernetes or the AKS will pull the images from the private repository. And we'll also learn how to detach it. Uh, apart from that, we'll check a few things in the AKS cluster VMSS that runs it. So uh, let's get started. We have uh, almost the same setup that we had in the previous couple of videos. Uh, we have cluster running already. And let me show you the ACR container registry. We have the same registry that we created in the previous video. And if I go to the repository, we have uh, Azure vote front as a repository. And this is our image right here. And if I go to the Kubernetes, we, we are running demo 01 AKS cluster, which is not attached to the ACR. This is, this is what we have for now. So let's try to run the same YAML file that we have here. I'm on the uh, shell.azure uh, cloud shell. If I see the Azure what all in one Redis YAML, uh, if I run this kubectl apply hyphen f, uh, Azure tab again. And uh, if I'll see the deployment is created, that's supposed to be, but let's see whether the pods are created or not. Okay. So if I do kubectl get pods and see, you see the front because we have only uh, uploaded this one to the uh, repository. So this got stuck image pulled back off because ACR is not attached to this AKS cluster right now, or AKS cluster has no idea from uh, where is the ACR repository. Because if you go and do cat to this YAML file, you'll see the uh, front right here, you see the demo ACR, this is the repository that it should go to, to get, uh, this is the ACR repository uh, so server login name or the address, and this is the image. But now AKS has no idea where this, where this ACR is because it's not attached to it. But if I see the back one, we still have the same, MCR Microsoft Doc. So that's why one is this one is created and uh, back one, not the front one. So let's quickly go back, clear this out, and attach the AKS uh, uh, AKS cluster with the registry, right? And it is uh, very simple. It is AKS, easy AKS. We need to update the cluster. Okay, and what is the name of the cluster? It is demo01. And what is the resource group? It is myrg1. Cool. Now, what we need to do, we need to do hyphen hyphen attach. This is attach hyphen ACR. This is the uh, command that will help you to attach ACR through Azure CLI. Now you need to give the uh, name of your repository, which was uh, demo ACR 231. That's what I think, but we can quickly check in here so that we will not do any 
mistake for now let's go to registry demo ACR 231 demo ACR 231 and we can hit enter it will take few minutes and uh, it will attach it if you keep looking at this is there is AAD role propagation is done it is creating uh, AAD role in, in backend so that AKS can and assigning the permissions or pull permissions so that it can pull the information or the image from the ACR. Well, <clears throat> meanwhile, what I want to talk about, we can attach it. We can also detach it with the same uh, same command. Instead of attach, we'll do detach. And once we detach it, uh, it would not be able to get the information from the ACR repository. Uh, Usually it doesn't happen in the production environment, but in case you need to do some kind of cleanup or something happens, you want to detach it. So we should know like, how can we detach it? And uh, what is the impact, right? Uh, let me quickly come back while it is creating. All right, uh, it's done, it took a few minutes and we got the output. Now let's go ahead and try to run the same command kubectl uh, apply hyphen f yaml. Or rather than that, let's try to see get ports if it could get it. See that there, there, there you go. It is running now. The, the front one is running now. It was getting image error off, right? Now let's try to detach it. So what we need to do, we need to just, instead of attach, make it detach, right? Detach. It will, it will again take a few minutes. It will remove all that uh, things that it created for the attachment. And deletion, you can see the deletion is happening. Now it is, once it is done, what do you think? Uh, this, this would be running or would that be, would that not be running? Just take a, take a guess. Well, if your guess is not running, then I have to say uh, that's not the right answer. It, will be running because we have not messed it up right now it is just running right what if i delete this particular pod for which image is coming from acr what do you think afterwards will that be running or will that not be running well if you are saying uh, the replica set will create it again without an interruption if that's what you're thinking then you are correct. Now the question comes then, we have already detached it now, this AKS doesn't know where is the repository or ACR or from where this image should be pulled, then why? It's because the image is available locally, that's why. Let me show you, kubectl, it is detached, we, we, we know that. If I do get pods, uh, both the pods will be running, it should be. You see, both are running. Now let me, let me copy this front one and let me delete it, okay? Then we'll see whether replica set will create it or not. kubectl delete pod and we'll give the pod. Now it is deleted. Cool. Uh, let me run this get pods again. You see, it is back running. It is back running. It is all because we have that image pulled locally on this node. If you see kubectl get nodes, get nodes o wide. I only have one node happen to be, but I should have done get pods so that we could know where on which node the pod is running, right? So it's, uh, 103 agent pool. Now, if I go to my uh, 
let's go through resource group. Uh, this is the resource group which is created for the resources which is utilized by AKS. And if I go to VMSS, I can simply go to instances. Now, this is the instance. There's only one instance. If there are many, you could simply say where this image is. So if I remove this, the entire node, a new node would be created. Afterwards, you would not be able to get the pod up and running. You will get the same image uh, pull error uh, because the locally uh, available image is removed because the entire node is gone. Or you can just simply get into this node and remove it like Docker images, Docker images, or Docker remove RM remove images, and then you can try. Uh, that's that's another way of doing it. I just wanted to show you if if we remove this uh, because we have only created one a VMS VMSS virtual machine scale set should create this node again for us, right? So let me do this little. Uh, lab make a little break this lab i'm just deleting the node now and once the node is deleted we would not have any other single node for aks cluster or control plane to run the pods if you remember we have a running deployment there and the entire node is gone so let's see what happens uh what do you think uh would happen well, uh, if it would have been the uh, uh, on-premises cluster and you would have tainted it, uh, taint and toleration are the two things, then it might be gone and created on the master node, but it's not like that in the cloud because it is master node or control plane is all taken care of by Azure. So uh, if I run simply get not here, let's go to the same here get pods simply they are running it's crazy huh it's not crazy it's just like it's not updated yet just wait and watch uh it will it will become pending in a short while Meanwhile, let's go and check because nothing is happening here, right? It should it should work. Let me go here and see. This seems pretty good, perfectly fine. Status was one out of one, if you remember. Now it is gone, right? Let's quickly check the scaling option. You see, scaling option says instant count zero, and it is on the manual scale, not the custom scale. That's why nothing was happening. Let me make it one and save this now once it is updated what it means the vmss settings is updated because it's on manual scale now instant count is one so it should be spinning one instance quickly for us let's refresh it start creating right and if we go back here let's see see it is terminating pending terminating pending terminating pending because the node has gone, now it has no idea. Now I have uh, made it one, now it is creating. As soon as it is created, we'll see what is the status of this, uh, why I'm opening this, this uh, deployment. That would be interesting. What do you think would be the status? If you think it would be pending, then you're right, but not for both the pods. Because one pod is, you know, downloading from uh, internet. One is downloading from ACR. The one, the front one, which is downloading from ACR, uh, would again get the same image error because this time there is no image available locally. So it's good, and you see it's doing something or we can quickly go ahead and uh, do it by ourselves. How can we do that? Simply break this. You see it's container creating now. Let's wait, error image pull for the front. But back would be running. See, the back is running. Because the locally available image has gone, that's why. 
So I hope this uh, this lab uh, you 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 find interesting. Uh, it would be a learning. So well, thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Keep learning. You have a good day. Bye bye.